In this video, I will show you how to maximize your multi-tool upgrade to the best stats and I will show you the difference between the S-Class upgrade for the multi-tool and the illegal upgrade and I will show you how to get the Sentinel upgrade for the multi-tool Right now, there are 6 type multi-tool in the game The Pistol multi-tool and Experimental multi-tool and the Alien multi-tool and we have the Rifle multi-tool and we have Royal multi-tool and the last weapon, Sentinel multi-tool we just got it in last update there is 3 stats what is going on? I think I need more coffee there is 3 stats for all the multi-tool damage and the scanning and the mining so the best multi-tool for the scanning it's gonna be experimental multi-tool and the royal multi-tool the best multi-tool for mining is the pistol and the best multi-tool for damage sentinel multi-tool the alien multi-tool it used to be the highest one until the last update after knowing the difference between all the multi-tool we need to know about the best upgrade for the multi-tool we need right now to go to the anomaly I'm gonna show you why and we need to go to the multi-tool research upgrade here as you can see that's all the multi-tool upgrade right here we have 6 weapon and the mining beam and the scanning so we need to make sure we unlock everything here so after you unlock all the multi-tool upgrade right now we need any multi-tool to upgrade it I did show you the 6 type of multi-tool I will put in the pin comment how to get each type of the multi-tool but for this video we gonna use this sentinel multi-tool this one right here I already made video for it how to get this awesome one I will put it down in description or in the screen for you right now just follow the video and you can get the same multi-tool so right now we have two options for the multi-tool is class upgrade for the multi-tool or illegal upgrade I'm gonna show you the difference between each one right now and I will show you location for how to get each multi-tool upgrade so you don't have to search for it the C class is the lowest normal upgrade and the S class the best normal upgrade and the X upgrade it's illegal upgrade you can get it from every outlaw system let's start with the scanning the scanning has four stats scan radius and the flora scanned and the fauna scanned and the mineral scanned and the s class it's gonna be 30 to 40 and the flora and the fauna and the mineral it's gonna be 6500 to 10000 but for illegal upgrade the scan radius from 5 to 50 and the fauna and the flora and the mineral Z all from 1000 to 11000 and the next upgrade is the mining beam for S class upgrade mining beam the mining speed from 15 to 20 but for illegal upgrade 6 to 20 but for heat S class 41 to 50 and the illegal upgrade 5 to 55 fuel efficiency always 21 for S class and for illegal upgrade 1 to 25 the overheat downtime for S class 16 to 20 but for illegal upgrade 16 to 25 so right now let's start with the weapon pulse is better the S class for damage 2 to 3 and the illegal upgrade 1 to 4 the fire rate for S class 11 to 15 but for illegal upgrade 1 to 15 reload time 6 to 10 for S class but for illegal upgrade 1 to 20 the clip size for both always 12 the next weapon is nitrine cannon the damage for S class 5 to 10 but for illegal upgrade 5 to 6 the ionosphere created both always 1 the charging speed 11 to 20 for S class upgrade and the 6 to 25 for illegal upgrade and the ionosphere speed 11 to 13 for S class and the 2 to 12 for illegal upgrade and the next weapon is the most dangerous weapon in the game Plasma Launcher The Plasma Launcher damage for S class 70 to 80 and for illegal upgrade 20 to 90 and the bounce potential S class is 100 and the illegal upgrade 33 to 133 
and is explosion radius 11 to 15 for S class upgrade and 2 to 21 for illegal upgrade and is a velocity for S class 200 to 300 and is illegal upgrade 100 to 400. The next two Bonjalogy Cannon. The damage is 35 for 40 for S class and the illegal upgrade 10 to 45 and is explosion radius 40 to 50 for S class and 11 to 60 for illegal upgrade and is the velocity for this one as well 200 to 300 for S class and 100 to 400 for illegal upgrade. The next two open scatter blaster. The damage 2 to 3 and the illegal upgrade 1 to 3. Reload time 21 to 25, but for illegal upgrade 6 to 30. The clip size always 8 for both, and the fire rate 11 to 15 for S class and 1 to 20 for illegal upgrade. And shoot per brust, both are always 1. And the brust cooldown for S class 16 to 20, and the illegal upgrade 6 to 25. And the Zanikis Tuobon is Bolt Caster. The damage 1 to 2 for S class and the illegal upgrade the same thing. And the reload time 11 to 20 for S class and the illegal upgrade 6 to 25. The clip size 8 for S class and the 2 to 10 for illegal upgrade. The fire rate for S class 11 to 15 and for illegal upgrade 1 to 21. And the shoot by brust for both 1 to 2. And the brass to cool down for S class 15 and for illegal upgrade 1 to 20. And the next to open lace javelin. The damage for S class 4 and the illegal upgrade 1 to 5. And the time to fall power for S class 11 to 20 and for illegal upgrade 6 to 25. And the last upgrade, Sentinel Multi Tool Upgrade. I want to tell you Sentinel Multi Tool Upgrade, it only apply to the Bolt Caster Wobon. I'm gonna show you in a second. The damage for Sentinel Upgrade 1 to 2, and the reload time 1 to 15, and the fire rate 1 to 21. So how to get Multi Tool Upgrade? You can just need to kill Sentinel, and they will drop Salvage Glass. And when they drop Salvage Glass, you just need to open. And you will get sometimes Sentinel Multi Tool Wobon Upgrade, and sometimes you get other stuff as well. So you need to kill a lot of Sentinel. After knowing the difference between S Class Upgrade and the Illegal Upgrade, you know now the Illegal Upgrade is better. You can go for S Class Upgrade if you want, but if you're looking for the highest stats, I do recommend to go for Illegal Upgrade. But sometimes the illegal upgrade, it doesn't give you the best always, but you can get the best. So right now, let's max this multi-tool. You can do this guide on any multi-tool. We need to install here the first weapon, the plasma launcher. Let's just install it. And after we install the plasma launcher, we need to get illegal upgrade for the plasma launcher. You can see this guy, he sells a special plasma launcher. That's the glyph for Outlaw Station right here. So I already have some plasma launcher upgrade here. We just need to install three of them in the multi tool. So if you see the three upgrade I just installed for plasma launcher, the first one, it has very bad stats. The second one, it has also very bad stats. The third one, it has very good stats. So we gonna keep this one and we gonna delete the other two. And I need to keep buy and open until I get the best three. I got three very good stats for the plasma launcher here. We need to move the three upgrade like that. The next two open, we need to install it right here. It's the geology cannon. This one right here. Let's install it. And right now we need three illegal upgrade for geology cannon. You can see this guy it sells them as well. You can see the same glyph right here. So I have geology cannon upgrade here. I'm just gonna install three of them. So I installed the three upgrade here. They actually quite good. We need to move three of them like that. And we need to install right here Wobon Lace Javelin. Let's just install it. And we need to install above it Mass Accelerator. This one here. The next upgrade we need to install the waveform lace javelin. 
It is the same upgrade as class. You can see we just install it. We need right now three illegal upgrade for it. This guy here, he said illegal upgrade less javelin. And also the glyph for it right here. It's inside your blade galaxy. I'm just gonna look for the best three upgrade. See you guys when I get them. I got three illegal upgrade here. They all have max damage, but the time for full power is not good. We need to move three of them like that. I forgot to install something for geology cannon. We need to install voltic amplifier. We installed it right here. We need to install next with the scanner. Let's just install the scanner. And we need to install here for the scanner. The waveform for the scanner. We can just install it here. We need three scanner upgrade. You can see this guy sell illegal scanner upgrade. That's the clip for this system. It is the same system. Somehow this guy has the most multi-tool upgrade. I have a scanner upgrade here, so I'm just gonna keep open until I get the best three. I got three very good scanner upgrade here. All we need to do, we need to move them like that. The next part, we need to put the analysis here. And we need to put under it survey device. Let's just do it. And we need to put under it here as well, compact scope. Let's just do it as well. So the next part, we're gonna use the super charged. For this one, you can choose any weapon you like. I already did try before the scatter blaster. So this time, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna try bolt caster. So we need to install right here, bolt caster. Let's just install it. And under it, we need to install upgrade bolt caster ricochet. Let's just install it. And we need to install right here, barrel ionizer for the bolt caster. And now we need three illegal upgrade bolt caster. This system here, it has bolt caster upgrade. And that's also the glyph for it. So I got three illegal upgrade here for bolt caster. They actually very good. We need to move three of them like that. So right now, we know the Sentinel upgrade it only work for bolt caster. I already have Sentinel upgrade here. I need to look for the best three Sentinel upgrade. I got three Sentinel multi-tool upgrade here. They actually very good. We need to move three of them here. And look at our damage now. Almost 32,000. That's actually very high. We didn't finish yet. So the next thing we need to do, we need to move the laser to here. And we need to install above it mining beam. And we need to install next to the laser, advanced mining laser. And under it here, we need to install optical drill. And right now, we need three illegal upgrade for mining beam. You can see this guide sells them. That's the glyph for it as well. I got three mining beam upgrade here. They actually quite good. We need to move three of them there. And we need to install here a scatter blaster. Let's just install it. And we need to install above the scatter blaster, shell grease for the scatter blaster. And right now, we need three upgrade for the scatter blaster. This guy here, he's an illegal scatter blaster module. That's the glyph for it right here. I got three scatter blaster upgrade here. We need to move them like that. The next part we need to install right here is the pulse better. And we need to install under it here the amplified for pulses better. And the next to it we need to install impact for pulses better. And right now we need three illegal upgrade pulses better. This guy here it sells them. That's also the glyph for it. I have three upgrade for pulses better here. We need to move three of them like that. And we almost done guys. So right now, we need to install here the other upgrade for pulses better, just like that. And we need to install here the nitrine cannon. And we need to install above it the B field upgrade for nitrine cannon. 
and right now we need three illegal upgrade for nitrine cannon you can see this guy sells them that's also the glyph for it i got three upgrade for nitrine cannon here we need to move three of them like that and we need to install here personal force field and the next to it we need to install clocking device and we need to install here the train manipulator and the last one we need to install paralysis mortar and we did maximize the multi-tool upgrade here that's the best setup upgrade for multi-tool in the game you can do this on any multi-tool the fun part start we will have to try it out let's start with the scanning then we gonna do compact so i'm on my planet here let's scan the fauna and see how much we gonna get oh 500,000. let's scan this one almost 200,000 unit let's scan this creature there and another 500,000 unit let's scan the flora 87,000 let's scan another flora there another 87,000 and the mineral here let's see the mineral the mineral 60,000 remember this multi-tool it's not good in scanning so right now here we on sentinel planet you can see the enemy strength here on the highest i'm gonna actually use all the weapon for compact not one specific weapon so we can see which one is best anyway enjoy As you can see I did finish all the waves right here. I beat it all the waves without even having any shield upgrade on this save. Using the bolt caster on the multi tool is really good. I did use the other weapon but it wasn't really high damage like the bolt caster. Because the bolt caster inside the supercharged. I believe the pulse is better it gonna be beast against sentinel if it was inside the supercharged this video actually took me a lot to make i would like to thank you know my sky resources for helping me on this video i want to say something and this is message for you i would like to thank you guys for all the support on the channel recently i really appreciate it and i hope every video did really help you I really would like to thank people who joined the membership even they don't have to. I never ask it for it and I will never ask for it because all I want is help you. So I would like to say to everyone thank you so much for being here. So after maximize the stats on the multi tool, if you want to maximize the stats on the exosuit, make sure you watch this video, it will show you how. I love you guys and see you guys next time.